the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Amen. with your spirit. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, from chapter 16, verses 22 to 34. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to, stay, to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. There he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up to into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I call, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and I want to be asked me where you're going. But because I told you this, grief has filled your heart. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. Or if I do not go, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because you do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I'm going to the Father. 
and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the rule of this word has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Almighty God, we thank you for this day and all its opportunities. Help us to live in your love this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Yes. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, Lord. But in this time of all, all to Lord, yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, by the oblation of his body he brought the sacrifice of all to fulfillment to the reality of the cross. And by committing himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. O glory, 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 This week in Gail Hutchinson will be talking about the Cappadocian Fathers and they have beautiful readings on, on the Mass and on the early life of the Church and on the Blessed Virgin Mary and uh, I'd encourage you all to Google them. They're, they're very good re readings and, and uh, a quote from St. Basil on the Eucharist. He said, To partake of the Holy Body and Blood of Christ is good and beneficial for he himself says quite plainly, he that eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Who can doubt that the sheer continuity in life is the same thing as having life abundantly? You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when his once for his disciples are now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by the cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, 
We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the pastoral sacrifice of Christ that has been handed down to us, and grant it by the power of the Spirit of your love. We may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people of Major Owen. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new home. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you, Lord, have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look now on our sins, for on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ in us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ be your saved for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.